Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is a great pleasure for me to stand up here in front of all of you. Okay, today we would like to present about something and this is will be interest for all of you who want to be a good speaker because this uh, our topic today is how to be a good presenter. Before we move, let me introduce myself first. My name is Niputu Sri Puspita Dewi and I'm from Bali. Today I'm alone because I'm accompanied by my friends and who are a good speaker. Okay, the first one, please give Big applause for Kade Unita Adrianti. And followed by, followed by Kade Asia Baby Pramasi. And the last but not least is Nilo Putu Novi Wulandan. Okay, in this morning, we divided our presentations into two subs topic, which is the first one is use a team that will be explained by the first speaker which is Kadek Kade Unita Adrianti and then the second topic which is um, master your introduction of your presentations that will be explained by Kadek Nisha Pramasti as the second speakers and then in the end of our presentations there will be uh, questions and answer sessions that will be handled by Nilo Kutu Novi Bulandani Okay, all that's done with our time because the time is so expensive. Uh, let's we begin. Please enjoy the presentations. Keep your attention and for the first speakers, the time is yours. Thank you, Sri, for opening our presentation today. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to ask you a question. Uh, so, have you ever be, have you ever experiencing experiencing being a good being a speaker or presenter in the public if the answer is yes then it must be remembered that just uh, standing on the podium and also speaking uh, are not enough to make you being a good presenter but don't worry because there are some techniques that can be used uh, and a major technique is uh, using a theme to your presentation so uh, there are five things that you have to remember uh, when you decide to choose a theme to your presentation. Okay, as you can see on the slide, the first one is make it memorable. Just like a logo or a slogan, a theme uh, must uh, make the audience to remember uh, about your, your presentation. And the second one, keep it simple. Uh, the theme should both simple and consistent because um, you, know, you have to make your audience easier to memorize uh, your theme. And then be practical. Your theme should uh, evoke the practicality and the purposes. And then uh, the fourth one is be the role. So uh, one thing that you can do uh, is you can look at all the presentation uh, on the agenda and then you can establish your team and don't forget to use it. And then the last but not least is consider your objective. So uh, a team should recall the purposes or the mission for your presentation. Okay, so those are the five things that you have to remember before you decide to use a theme to your presentation but besides using a, a good theme to your presentation it's also important to master your uh, the introduction uh, to your presentation am i correct Asia? yes you are right Inita. thank you okay now i will explain about how to master your production and how to start your speech Num uh, number one is Okay, before that, uh, these are five effective ways to open your speech or uh, master your product introduction. Number one is a question. Asking a question at the start of your presentation is an effective opener. When you answer it, you lay out the purpose of your speech, your object, main points, or tests. Number two is a reference. You can make a reference into a time or event, history, politics, or sport. 
When you do so, you establish context and relevance for your presentation. You set your, your, you set your points into a wider framework of experience. Number three is a quotation. You seek a quotation is that relevant, interesting, and is also useful opener. Useful opener. Uh, remember to cite your source and take advantage of something that is totally targeted to your subject. Uh, number four is drama. You uh, you can achieve a dramatic opening with your own voice, uh, music, amplified amplified sound, and uh, film. And you can also uh, you also the action and activity. You can use the action and activity to make a good uh, make a dramatic opening. And uh, for uh, the Five is humor. You seek humor is you seek humor to open your presentation is effective way to set your tone of your presentation and establish affinity with your audience. You can combine this opener with uh, with a, a whitey uh, quotation and the dictionary definition and dictionary definition. I think that's all about how to master your introduction and how to start your speech. Now the next section will be ex uh, will be continued with no fee. Thank you, Nisha. Uh, okay, I hope that was clear now. Uh, is there any question? Okay, because there is no question, uh, we will close our presentation today. Uh, before that, uh, let's conclude our topic today. Um, it, it, it is important to use a theme in your presentation to make uh, to make uh, your presentation more interesting and also uh, easy to understand it. There are five things in bear mind thought when when uh, when you use a theme in your presentation. The first one is make it memorable. The second one is keep it smile. The third one is be practical. The fourth one is be thorough. The last is consider your objective. Besides choosing uh, your theme in your presentation, uh, master your, uh, the introduction uh, to your presentation also important because uh, be uh, a good uh, a good uh, presentation uh, a good presentation uh, is a, a good presentation can be assessed by looking the way that presenter introduce her or himself her or his self uh, and the topic uh, there are five effective ways to open your speech the first one is a question the uh, second one is a reference. The third one is a quotation, and the fourth one is a drama. And the last but not least is humor. Uh, okay, that's all about our topic today. Hopefully, you can apply uh, what we have discussed today uh, uh, to your presentation, uh, to your performance in your presentations. Uh, so that you can be a good presenter. Thank you, see you, and have a nice day.